It was a stunt, pure and simple, a potentially dangerous stunt on one of Hamilton's busiest thoroughfares. The Fairfield Bridge spanning the Waikato River. 24-year-old thrill-seeker and motorbike lover Jonathan Bennett roared his bike over the bridge's arches with traffic passing below. And as with many such stunts these days, it was all caught on camera for posting on YouTube. Not surprisingly, the authorities were none too impressed and today Bennett lost his licence after pleading guilty to dangerous driving. Michael Holland has the story. It's the extreme ride, the adrenaline rush he'd long dreamed of. I was dead set looking smack in the middle of the arch the whole way and trying to look as far forward as I can to get a good straight line. It's a bit of a roller coaster, three big arches. Well, going over the, uh, the first arch is the hardest bit, just getting that momentum up and, and keeping it smooth all the way up and keeping it straight in line while you're trying to sort of get a bit of uh, forward movement going. Because of the height and because it's narrow, the battle's up here. And you won the battle up here? I did. From a police point of view though, Jonathan Bennett was on anything but the straight and narrow, putting himself and other motorists at potential risk. Their response, a charge of dangerous driving, to which Bennett today pleaded guilty, earning a six month license disqualification and a $500 fine. I thought I got what I deserved. I would have liked to have, have not paid anything of course, but you know, you, you take the rap and, 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 and you get on with it. And while Bennett says he wouldn't like to see others try to repeat his stunt, he believes he had the skill and equipment to safely complete the bridge crossing. This is known as a trials bike and it's, it's made for a competition called trials. Usually rocks, water, mud, um, sharp 90 degree turns at the bottom of hills, tree roots. Have reports of a motocross rider that is riding on the hoops of the bridge. Why did you have to do this? Um, because I knew I could, I'd said I could, and I'm a man of my word. I'd practiced for it and I would be letting myself down to turn away and not do it after I knew I could. Some would say it's foolish. Some people would say a lot of things. To me, this is an achievement. I didn't expect it to be this big. I didn't expect this much publicity. I, I thought it wasn't really a big deal. And I still don't really think it's, 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 it's that big a deal. You can understand why the police perhaps think it is. Um, yes, I can. I mean, it was a fairly public event and um, they'd like to make an example out of me. They don't like this sort of carry on and, um, and they feel that they're obliged to, uh, to prosecute, yes. I'm an offender, eh? You say that with a smile. I do. Well, to me, it's, uh, I'm not ashamed of what I've done. What I've done was something which, which, which is unusual. It took guts, it took courage, and I've had the guts and courage to do it and pulled it off without a hitch. Bennett says he climbed the arches numerous times at night to make himself familiar with the height and traffic passing below. Did you feel a bit like old Evil Knievel? Evil Knievel was more famous for his crash as I made it. <laughs> Foolish, brave or daring? You too. What do you say? Maybe foolish, but brave and, and daring. Yeah, well, it definitely isn't easy to do, and it's overcoming your own fears that um, gives you the drive to do it. So what's the feeling going up here? Um, a bit like going to court, really. You're just in for the ride. At the end, I just bunny hopped off the end. To what, wild applause from your mates? Uh, uh, a lot of applause from the traffic, uh, a lot of tooting horns, people cheering. Um, I was quite surprised at, at how, how the general public viewed it. Um, and people came around and shook my hand and, and, and congratulated me at the end of it. That adulation now overtaken by the condemnation of the court. Would you ever think about doing it again? Well, there's no point. I've already done it once and I've already uh, got there and got the T-shirt, if you like. I'd rather have done it and paid the price than have not done it and have gone past that bridge every day knowing I could have done it. OK, you've seen the stunt now. We'd like your feedback. A dangerous stunt that could have gone horribly wrong, or as Jonathan says, was it something gutsy to do, some merit there, at least in controlled circumstances. And what about that punishment? Did it fit the crime? Email us at tvnz.co.nz forward slash close up.